Hi everyone, welcome back to the garage. So the confession is I've actually been out of a while already today. Um, and I wasn't sure I had any content. So really this is likely to be a very short episode. I have been spending time working on this uh, rear seat loop, just tweaking it, modifying it. I've spent a significant amount of time just trying to close the gaps up, change the angles, change the cuts. Um, so really not a lot of content to show you, but a lot of time taken. So right now, this is how it actually sits on the bike. And you can see it sort of sits there. Um, and the ends are now pretty much the right width um, when there's no tension on it. So that's definitely a massive improvement. I've just been spending time on the edges here, just trying to get these angles as good as I can. So when I'm welding it in, there's as little gap as possible. I had slightly overcut at the back here, um, and I've just actually welded back in one small section that I'd removed. Um, so like there, so nothing pretty, but it's, it's, it's functional. So that's sort of what I was taking my time at the moment. A couple of bits of feedback. Um, one thing was suggested to me about changing the angle on these supports to try and match the frame. Um, sounded great. The more I look at it, the more I think about it, the th I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay with them just bolt upright. Um, primary reason for this is that yeah there are sort of sweeping angles of the frame that maybe I could try and mimic if I was being trying to make it aesthetically better uh, firstly my fabrication skills are not that great yet but equally this is going to be covered up by an exhaust both sides so I don't think it's going to be particularly visible um, so for that reason at the moment at least I'm going to stick with keeping that as it looks um, but frankly this is um this is the first iteration it may well change um so i'm i'm still trying i'm tweaking i'm just working out how it's all going to sit so let me just carry on off camera for a while and i'll bring you in with how it's looking when i've finished um manipulating it a little so uh yeah bear with me okay it's all sitting in place. So nothing's tacked, nothing's attached, but the seat sits on it, the loop sits in place, and it all fits. I'm now trying to work out, and I've just marked up here at the back, where I need the fixings for the seat. So my brackets are there in line with this mark, and I'm going to work out how to, I can put something across that I can then bolt the seat to. I think I can probably bend the bracket through 90 degrees so it bolts down onto a flat bar I think that could work all right I'm gonna start mocking up something there see if I can determine how I'm gonna do that I want everything in place before I tack anything and and start welding it up okay yep next move work this out okay continuing to just carefully line everything up so i've had the seat on the tank on this bar here across there is where i think i need to bolt the seat to so i can create some brackets that come down on an l shape and then bolt drill some holes and bolt onto that so i think that with everything held in place i just need to tack this on and then go for a trial fitting um, and I need to bend these brackets as well so yeah I think tack that on because I can remove it in a moment either way and then that's the first thing that's sort of semi fixed in place everything else is just resting at the moment okay slowly slowly okay so so we just loosely tacked together it's not attached to the frame in any way but that is now one removable component with the uprights and the bracket across the top so what i need to do now is work out how 
I can drill and attach the seats. And then I think once I have done my final test fitting, so that's it, still a bit warm. So once I've got the seat on, drilled the holes, and it all sits perfectly, then I think I'm going to dress back the frame, make sure there's no paint, and then tack it in place. Whilst my son sounds like he's being murdered in the garden with water. Right, okay. Okay. Getting there. So, I've now bent the brackets over, so they're like that. I've sat it on the loop, I've taken it off, and I've carefully marked where the fixings line up. So I need to now drill some holes out through there, and then I should be able to bolt the seat on, in theory. Okay, right, let's, um, let's get those drilled. Okay, so that's it, that's me done for this week. Um, the back end's on, the seat's now actually attached to this frame, like the whole thing comes off in one unit. It's all bolted on here. So that, I think, is in a position whereby I can actually start welding that to the frame and making it permanent. Um, before I do that, I need to give careful thought to the rear mudguard, where that's going to sit, how I'm going to attach it, because that's all a big unknown to me so far, and I don't want to make this permanent if I then want to do something which is either involving this or underneath it so that's as much as I'm going to do this week um, thank you very much for your continued support please click that like or subscribe button um, completely free to everybody as I'm sure you all know and um, watch me continue on this uh, journey to try and build my first bike all right then thanks very much bye for now